What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And today, we got the Peter and Miles rap song, Greater Together, Easy 8 featuring Errol Allen, Marvel's, Marvel's Spider Man 2. Now, this is from the, and if I'm not mistaken, this is from the video game that just came out and such. I gotta say, now, hear me out when I say this. Damn, there's a lot of spider -Man. there's a lot more like comic book or movie based games rather than the original football games wrestling games and shit like damn i mean hell this even even with the likes of mortal kombat and such there's a lot there's a lot more of these games and such than like fighting games sports games and such but hey i can't hate because even though I don't play Spider-Man and such, and yes, y'all can if y'all want to kill me in the comments, go ahead. Cause I learned that at the end of the day, if y'all gonna kill me in the comments for certain things that I might say, oh well. But either way, we gonna check this song out and let and I gotta say with Dizzy Eight and Errol Allen, y'all two be collabing. I've never seen two characters, never seen two rappers who collab more than these two. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But what can I say? I've always said that whenever two artists that sound so good together often, and at this point they need to be like a collab group and such. But either way, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's game video. Original link to this will be in the description. So this the eight is Peter. Sorry about it. Hello. I'm in the back of the I'ma go out for the city. I'll be here like it's some litty. If I can't keep it together, my brother got me. Yeah, I know that he with me. If I fall, then I know he gon' lift me. Just keep it up, bucket ain't tricky. Then we put in that work, we get busy. Mm. I know I can't do this alone. No, can't do this alone. No, I know I'm not strong. Strong enough for my own. No, mm. not on my own. No, I know. Look at the city, it's hurting every day. It's something like luck and harder. I got the power to change it. I gotta do something like I be the parker. Good intentions, I know all my decisions, but I'm still the one that get caught up. Mm. When my back against the wall, just know that my brother the one that I call. Mm. Mm. They do not like me. They wanna. And it's crazy that Pete, like Peter and Miles, the fact that y'all calling each other. Look, I know we probably. If I'm not mistaken, right? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Cause even though I don't play the game, but I would wanna watch like the. Your, like the what's the storyline or so so story mode for it so y'all let me know but i are they like did they actually put them together as brothers and such because if so that's crazy <laughs> i ain't gonna lie like interracial brothers crazy but either way and look i'm anything that i say because apparently i looked at my comments about anytime look at this point anytime when i reacted to Anytime when I react to the stupendium, there's gonna be a whole lot of people. As I've recently just seen, like, there's gonna be a lot of, there's gonna be some people who disagree with what I'm trying to say with respect and such, like, hear my opinions on and such. So, it is what it is. If y'all gonna wanna kill me for something, go ahead. Cause apparently, I, apparently I can't say something that's on my heart and all, but it is what it is. Brother, the one that I call up. They do not like me, they wanna fight me They got a heart full of venom, they can come get it Know that I'm with it, black suit fitted, I turn to a villain You can have sympathy for all my enemies lately I think that I'm losing the feeling The time ain't to stop when I'm chilling Chandelier how I hang on the ceiling Simulations gon' show but you're Chandelier how I'm hanging at the ceiling Saying that I used to have empathy for my villain For all my enemies Now I'm just losing that feeling Hey, cause let, let's be honest If you're a superhero, right? Nine times out of ten, 
sometimes you do want to give villains a break but let's be honest and look and i'm still gonna go back to batman as much as y'all say oh that wouldn't make him any much better mother sucker it's not it's basically like this think about it like this and look y'all can say what y'all want but look look listen to how i think about this you saying that you, batman you say you don't want to kill nobody right you don't want to do no killing because that wouldn't make you any better than them my nigga you know there's a you wonder why you're the hero and they're the villains right at least if you're gonna kill somebody you're gonna kill somebody who did so did you wrong and such villains like the joker has been killing people who don't got one iota to do with this shit who are literally innocent and such so i don't care about if i'm a superhero right okay it's one thing if i gotta bag you up and send you all that and such right but if you a legitimate villain that who's gonna literally kill people oh nah i don't care if you're a regular villain or an alien villain you getting bow out of here i don't care what you say <laughs> to make a good book i ain't gonna lie brothers forever just different in blood mm, that's a bar right there because like because hey sometimes and Cause like I s it's basically like this. You have people who are out there who not even relate to one another, right? Who don't even have the same blood and such. But even so, they are more of a family to you than your real ones, cause and as crazy that might sound, right? Let's be honest out there. People who are out there right now who have this friendship of over hell, even just five years, ten years. 20 years 30 years right and they're not even relate to one another but they're just they got that type of bond friendship where nigga nothing is gonna separate it. like and i'm and it's like this i'm not to say i can't say myself and such because my bond with my family is always good but there's other people out there who don't even bond great with their family Right, and they're supposed to be their blood, but nine times out of ten, you get people who are not even related to them, who are like, in a way, you can say strangers, but really friends and such, and even they bond way more, and they bond way more with them than with their own family. So hey, that bar right there is so factual. My brother keep falling, I'm picking him up Ain't gotta worry about me giving him up mm. We brothers forever, Every just different in blood. blood Hearing the hate, but I'm feeling the love What a wonderful feeling it was mm. Ooh, I'm so nice. nice Hey, hey, <laughs> hey Talk nice when you talking to me This pain in my heart make it harder to breathe I told you this city, my heart on my sleeve Not mm. a miss in my family tree Never mm. knew this could happen to me My journey started from a casualty mm. I can do this alone, no. said he, he think that him and Ireland made the bet the hard. They wasn't wrong. 
To Dizzy 8 and Errol Allen, man, because them two niggas know how. I've always, like I said before, when it comes to two rappers and such, when they know how to really gem together, it always gonna show. Because at the end of the day, especially, but I want it's basically like this though. I want to see Errol Allen with other people now. That, that, Cause not, I'm, I'm not lying, y'all. I like when him and Dizzy O, I always like when these two come together and such because they know how to set the vibe for any song, for any song they're about to make. But I want to see Errol Allen now, right? Because we know Dizzy can kill it by himself. Like, there's no question about that. We know Dizzy 8 can kill it by himself. But let's be honest, we want to see more of Al Errol Allen out there with other ones like Schwabity, like Chow Dao, hell, anybody, right? Because I want to see him get more exposure out there into the nerdcore since he's still relatively new and such. Because I know, like, he's been, he been doing how to make music, but I just want to see him, like how he's still new in the nerdcore, I want to see him more out there with anybody else. But either way, we still rock with it no matter what. So shout out to Dizzy H, Cheryl, yeah, Cheryl, shout out <laughs> to Errol Allen, man. I don't know you're going to see this, my dude, because you know I'm going to tag y'all in, I'm going to tag y'all in this damn video. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below. Different blood. And that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. Check out my other reactions right here. And hit that subscribe button, man. What's wrong with y'all? Hit that mother loving subscribe button. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Come now, shut up. <laughs> there you go.